in an unassuming bronze building in San Francisco's Dog Patch neighborhood is a workshop full of history. Welcome to the SFMTA Cable Car Carpentry Shop. This is where cable cars are born and brought back to life. They've survived earthquakes, they've survived fires, they've su survived depression, you know, and they just keep trundling up and down the hills. Every piece built by hand and assembled here. Truth is that keeping them on our tracks is a labor of love. These SFMTA workers are not only carpenters, but some may even call them historians. So this car arrived here about a year and a half ago. To honor their history, this year San Francisco is celebrating 150 years of cable cars opening the doors of their carpentry shop to the public. When we got here, the tour was sold out with 50 people in line. I don't think they let anybody in. This is only the first Friday of the month for three months, and this is the second one. So there's one more time, I think, in August, and that's going to be it. We sat with the youngest cable car enthusiast on the tour. I mean, do you think the cable cars look 150 years old? They pretty much look like... They look like six years old. Cable cars were the first real technological innovation in the history of San Francisco. Many others followed after that, like computers. We chatted with young Karina, who was happy about both of these innovations. What did you think when your mom told you you got tickets to come to the tour? I felt neutral because there was <laughs> lots and lots of coding things that I was going to do. But then... Um, it's fun to get out and turn off the screen for a while. This shop is like a time machine, and despite the century that has gone by, the cable car brakes yeah, remain the same. Three. There are three sets of brakes. These are very high-tech, you can see. Wood. They're, they're wood. <laughs> After all, everyone who gets to see them getting restored up and close needs to document it. What has been your favorite part of this tour? Uh... Mostly taking pixels.